just as a quick little background on this, we're doing the same type of presentation as uh, Eva, Drew, and Al, the CIM, so you guys are acting as the prospective buyers. Good afternoon, everyone. My partner, Jake, and I couldn't be more thankful that you guys are taking time out of your very busy schedules to meet with us and to talk about why you should invest in the Captain Butcher's project. By a quick show of hands, who here is interested in one day owning their own business, possibly a restaurant, waterfront property, or becoming a landlord? Well, good news for you is all of that can be achieved under one roof at Captain Butcher's. No problem. Let me pop up here. Do you mind videotaping? Okay. Uh, um, a little background on the on the property itself. <clears throat> Captain Butcher's uh, spans 3.71 acres across beautiful Sebastian, Florida landscape. Three of those acres are dedicated to uh, property in general, like existing facilities, and the other 0.71 acres are dedicated to waterfront property. Uh, it was built and developed 15 years ago by real estate uh, developer Harold Butch Adams. And for the past five years, the seller has run the restaurant with uh, no prior experience and has turned quite the profit in turn. So you too, if you have any restaurant experience, can make even more money than him. Uh, as you can see, the starting price is a little bit under $6 million. This price was calculated based on uh, financial forecasting from previous income statements. And last year, during, uh, during last year, their capitalization rate was 7.73%. 7 7 last year, their uh, net, uh, net income was $2.4 million. And their net operating income was, was $540,000. Now, the, the many different facilities across the property include a restaurant, apartment buildings, marina, and undeveloped land. So in building one, you'll find the main money maker here at Captain Butcher's, which is the restaurant. This restaurant seats a total of 334 occupants. It has two very large outside decks, uh, an indoor bar, an outdoor bar, and two different uh, banquet rooms. And this was uh, built in 1952 and has since been refurbished. The kitchen has been completely completely replaced within the past five years. In building number two, you will find restrooms, uh, a laundry room, many different administrative buildings, such as um, the owner's apartment, per se, which serves as an office as well as a living quarters. And in the different storage units, you'll find dry storage, walk-in cooler, and then the 16 beer taps that lead to the outdoor bar. And in building number three, this is where you'll find our eight unit apartments or eight apartment units. And on the bottom floor, you'll find four studio apartments, which are fully furnished with full kitchenette, TV, bedroom, uh, covered patio, which leads to the water. And on floors two and three, you'll find uh, two, or you'll find four two-story townhouses. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath setup, which is just the same as the studio apartment in terms of full kitchenette, fully furnished, the whole nine yards. The marina is built on a submerged land lease in the state of Florida, and it's about 13,500 square feet, and per year the lease is going to cost you about $3,500. At this marina you'll find 29 slips, 25 of these are for rental, 4 of these are for gassing purposes or just dropping people off, anything that takes under 10 minutes per se. And there's many different amenities that come with this marina. One of them being the two different uh, huge diesel tanks, one of them being 2,400 gallons and the other one being 1,200 gallons. Uh, 60 foot ships will be accommodated in every single slip, and at every single slip you will find uh, water and electric pumps spanning from 25 to 50 amps of power. And then uh, as far as undeveloped land pieces, there are a couple undeveloped land areas throughout the property. And with a proper business plan, you'll be able to develop that and make much more money than the previous owners have. This is just for our, our reference, really. It's uh, a whole brochure that you can find on the website. I know it's a bit hard for you to see, but after this meeting, I'll provide you with a much more detailed screenshot of this. 
And then finally, to complete the whole financial process, you're going to want to qualify for an SBA loan through the United States Small Business Administration. And the SBA lenders are going to do a series of background checks on you to make sure that you're qualified to receive said investment. Uh, first time uh, buyers are eligible for up to $5 million in a loan. And uh, depending on what loan you get, your amortization rate, your amortization schedule will be between 10 and 30 years and your overall interest rate will be between six and six and a half percent. Now I'm gonna pass it off to Jay for more financial information. Thanks, Patrick. So, some of you guys may be wondering, why is Captain Butcher's valued at nearly six million dollars? We can take a look here at the earnings statement or the summary of income statement from 2013 to 2015, and we see that there was a 23% increase in total gross sales and a 30% increase in net operating income. Another good sign investors like to see is that there was only a 5% increase in expenses with that actually decreasing from 2014 to 2015. Additionally, the total gross sales at, in 2015 amounted to nearly $2.5 million, which is over one third of the current sale price. Uh, moving forward, to our cash flow analysis, we can see that pre cash flows increased by 19% from 2013 to 2015. Uh, free cash flows are highly important to focus on because they indicate positive or they indicate business businesses have room to grow and expand. And given that Captain Butchers is at 19%, it is indicative of a thriving business. So what is driving all the revenue behind Captain Butchers? From this hierarchy, we can see that the restaurant makes up a majority of Captain Butchers sales, 77% to be uh, specific. And following that is the marina. Like Patrick said, there's only 25 rental slips and four slips for fueling. And then under that is the apartments. There's only currently eight rental units, but with the expansion of the undeveloped lots, and developing more uh, rental units, you could grow the apartment revenue. Uh, furthermore, like every other business or person, Captain Butchers must pay taxes. And they have about 3.71 acres of land, and 35,000 of that went towards, oh sorry, $35,000 dollars worth of that went towards the land lease and the rest of the 3500 went towards the submerged land lease or the marina. So now you might be wondering what would you as a prospective buyer really be making out of all this? As you can see from on the left, three years ago in 2013 the value was at 453000 That was what the owner, Butch, was taking away. This grew 20% uh, to 2015, and Butch ended up walking away in 2015 with $540,000. So, all in all, if you are interested in acquiring this business, sorry, I lost my train of thought. If you are interested in acquiring this business, you would need to submit a letter of credit financial pay stubs or other sort of documentation that will provide Patrick and I as the brokers the security that we need uh, to perform the acquisition. Additionally, with development of the parcels, increased spending on advertising, and uh, maybe the implementation of some live music, this property and business as a whole has incredible amount of room for growth, which in turn could lead to major returns on your investment. Thank you for listening. Any questions? Who has a question for them? Brian? Uh, is, there, <clears throat> excuse me, is there any potential for expanding the business into new areas? Um, not physical areas, but like business in like a business direction? Um, I mean, I think so. They do have a plan uh, in mind right now, or Butch did, to develop the, the units that are currently undeveloped into uh, new rental units. But I mean, it is up to the total owner's discretion, the new owner's discretion as to how they wanna go about that. They can redesign the business plan completely if they'd like. Awesome.
Um, what does the company's marketing plan look like to help advertise, like you said, new renovations, um, live music, as we were talking about stuff like that? Well, the one thing, it's kind of in the brochure, it's hard to see, but one thing they really hit on on their website is how they're right on the water, so that you have that aspect of being able to just pull up to the restaurant on a boat if you want with your family. They take a lot of the people in the surrounding area because in Sebastian, Florida in general, really there isn't a ton out there right now, so they kind of just corner the market as a whole for like boaters and other people in general. Thank you. Terrific, nice job.